Hey guys, or 134 here, um, and I've got another deck profile for you guys. Um, this week, also in celebration of the new Premium Collection 10, I'm uh, running a deck based off of the cards that came out in there. Um, this week is another Jaden deck. Uh, it's his Masked Heroes, um, which is his new hero archetype from the manga. Uh, it, it plays very similar to regular Hero Beat, but there are some changes that you have to make to it and changes in play style you have to make to make it Masked Heroes. Um, I uh, lost in top four to the guy who topped and who beat me in, uh, the only person who beat me in Swiss with his uh, Tech Genus Psychics. That deck is really, really interesting. Um, it uses the good Psychic Engine with the uh, um, Esper Girl and the Silent Psychic Wizard and the uh, I think it's Serene Psychic Witch, the pink one. Um, as well as like the Tech Geniuses to give it a little bit more speed and synchroing. And uh, it, it's got a big boost now with the double emergency teleport. And it focuses a lot on um, doing the psychic stuff, then creature swapping or uh, enemy controlling things. Like, it's really annoying to face that deck and put a big monster out because it'll probably get stolen. But, um, anyways. Uh, here's my deck list. Uh, as usual, we'll start with the monsters. One e Hero Stratos. Obviously, it's really good. Plus, as you like, Mad. Next, uh, three Elemental Hero Neos Alias. For, because it's the 19 beater hero, Gemini Spark. You know, the reason why you're running Neos Alias. Um, next, I'm running two Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Um, Bubble Man allows me to do the uh, nin uh, Blade Heart Ninja thing, OTK. Uh, plus, it's also a water, so uh, it counts towards like your App Zero and your Acid and your Vapor. Also, fun fact: I got its draw effect off. It's pretty badass. I was playing against my teammate Drew, and uh, I, all in my hand was a uh, this and Dark Hole, Dark Hole Special. Draw two cards. It was pretty silly. Um, next, I'm running one Elemental Hero Ocean because it's a water hero for your mass change. Um, also, if you it protects it, you can get your heroes back from your graveyard. Like it's really good if you can get your Stratos back because then obviously you can Stratos search again. Um, next is a uh, one Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Uh, I'm I'm really liking I really like the wild heart in here. It, you can it's a mass change target because it's earth. Also, you don't have to worry about like running over like oh crap they torrential my field or oh crap I'm gonna get deprisoned because it's not affected by trap cards. Also, it's pretty derpy when you like normal summon and they have a bunch of field and you just torrential wipe out everything but him. It's good in mass heroes. Um, next one snowman eater to provide another water target for miracle fusion. Plus, Snowman Eater's really high defense, and uh, Pop Effect is pretty good when you're facing uh, ni uh, Jirak, uh, Ninja, or uh, if you're facing against Dino Rabbit. But at my locals, there aren't a lot of people with Rescue Rabbits, so there's a lot of, like, Jirak, uh, the Jirak Hydrogeddon deck, or uh, there's a one kid that plays the Ninja Jirak deck, and this card really wrecked his day. Um... And then two effect failures, um, because they're light targets, plus, uh, I think of all of the hand traps right now, I think effect failure is probably the most important one, because while it doesn't do a lot against, uh, Dino Rabbit, I mean, you can, can negate Lagia or Dolka's effect, but, like, like, it really hurts Insectors, and it really hurts wind-ups, and since... You see a lot of those decks just floating around. That's why I'm running the two Veilers. And you know what? You can side them out if you don't need them. Also, this card is derpy when you play it against Rescue Rabbit. When they try to activate Rabbit's effect, you have to like, sort of like aggressively play Veiler. It's really weird, but you gotta do it. Um, that's all the monsters. Uh, next one to my Magic lineup, which is pretty huge. Um, you get one Reborn. Obvious. Staple. Dark Hole. Staple. Heavy Storm, staple. Uh, Book of Moon, staple. 
I'm running a double MST. Obvious, get rid of the back row. I like the double MST. Um, running one rota and uh, two E emergency calls to search out my heroes. Since there's not a lot of monsters in the deck, you need these searchers really badly. Next, I'm playing two Pot of Dualities. I think three is too many for this deck. Um, the, the duality is just there to search into your e-calls and stuff. Next, I'm running three Gemini Sparks. Uh, obviously, for like the, the single hit destruction in this deck is really important. And also, I really like the draw you get off of Gemini Spark. Um, next, I'm playing three Miracle Fusions. Ah. Uh, Obviously, you're fusing. Sometimes when you're like, I'll side one of these out a lot uh, because sometimes the miracle confusions can feel a little clunky when you side into your side deck. Um, but I still would main three of them because it, the fusing is the really important thing. A lot of the games I lost were because I couldn't fuse or get to fusion cards, I should say. Um, meaning two super polys. Um, Obviously, great card. There was a couple of games that I was kicking myself and being really angry because I didn't have a Skiridao. Because um, obviously it isn't out yet. Once the Skiridao comes out, this card is going to be even more important. Like, almost running three important. And then, um, because it's Masked Heroes, I am maining three Mask Changes. Um, I think if you're going to use Mask Change, you need to have three, because you need to be able to Mask Change whenever you can, and Mask Change are already Mask Changed monsters. Um, the fact that it's a quick play is really, really important, but um, yeah, I think if you're playing Mask Change, like, you need to be running three of them. That's all my magics. Uh, traps. I am running a Double Torrential Tribute. Uh, two D prisons. Uh, the D prisons are there to protect my heroes. Like I was running into a lot of issues when I was testing, where I wasn't able to properly protect myself. So I really like D prison, since roads running around like it's everywhere for good reason. Um, then double warning and judgment, obvious. And then uh, two hero blasts. Because Hero Blast is really important to get back your Neos alias. Plus it really hurts uh, Dino Rabbit or Jur and Jurak Rabbit. Because all of their regular Dinos are uh, hit by Hero Blast. Um, that's the main deck. Comes out to 41 cards. Uh, here's the extra deck. Running two Blade Armor Ninjas. Uh, obviously for the OTK. Plus, it's really good. It's 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 double attacker. It's really good. Um, one Utopia, one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Because I'm siding Cyber Dragons. One e Hero Gaia, the only Omni Hero that will not be an Ultra, which is really frustrating to me because it doesn't match the rest of them. Um, one e Hero Nova Master. One E-Hero Great Tornado. Two E-Hero Absolute Zeros. This card is really dirty to combine with uh, Mask Change because it wipes out the field, the entire field. Oh, here. Ab-Zero blows up all the monsters. Oh, and then uh, Acid blows up all of the Magic and Trap cards. It's great. Um, then I'm running two... Of the Shining, one Master Hero Dion, uh, just for like the Earth changes, and it's really good when it kills a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. You can special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your deck, so you can uh, search out pretty much whatever you want to with this. And it's twenty eight three thousand, so its stats are really nice. Um, one Master Hero Vapor. Uh, Obviously, it's indestructible by card effects, so it's really important to have. Like you, changing your water heroes into this to protect them is really important. And then I am mating also the uh, two Mass Hero Acids, because Harpy, Cellar Duster, and Monster Form is really good. 
Okay, uh, that is the extra deck. One to the side. Uh, double Cyber Dragon. Uh, really good game, too. Obviously, it's a really strong monster. Um, two Thunder King Ryos for the decks that like to search out a lot. Um, actually, really good against Dino Rabbit and uh, Ninja Jirak and stuff like that. Double DD Crow for against Dark Worlds and uh, Zectors, neither of which I played today or yesterday. Uh, two Smashing Grounds for decks that brought out monsters that were too big for my heroes to properly contend with. Uh, the third MST for decks with heavy back row and Dark Worlds, pretty much. Uh, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors for against Dark Worlds and Insectors. Again, didn't play them at all. And then uh, two Skill Drains for against the triad of Rape. That is the Insector, Wind Up, and Dino Rabbit decks. Also, it isn't bad to side skill drains into your uh, hero decks because they don't really care half the time. And then two chain discs for against insectors. Uh, yeah, so that's the deck. Uh, rate, review, subscribe. Ready for le uh, next week, which is the last week of my uh, saga of the premium collection 10 releases. Anyways, this is Aura 1 through 4, signing out.